Okay, a video here. Uh, springtime here, summer a coming. People taking trips, and uh, I, I make sure that uh, I have uh, uh, emergency uh, road readiness. Okay, make sure you check out your stuff like your jack. Make sure your jack works okay. Got a good lug wrench. Okay, I like this one here because it's nice and big, long. So you can put plenty of uh, plenty of a uh, power to it, torque to it to loosen the wheel nut. But you know, check out your jack. Make sure it's in working order. I always take a a, a brick. To, to raise up the jack some, so that way, if you have if you have a flat tire on the highway, and your jack is almost all the way up to lift up your car, and it looks like it's kind of a little bit scary. Okay, well I, I I'll I'll take a, a brick so that it raises up the jack, so the jack's not all the way out, <clears throat> especially the scissor jacks, okay. Uh, I actually like them. Some people don't. You know, they're cheap and all that, but I actually like them. They work really good if you take a brick with you. They work really good. <clears throat> and make sure you, you know, secure your brick down, too. Secure it down. Find, find an area in your vehicle or whatever and secure it down. Um... Take some extra antifreeze. Take a jack stand. You know, that way you jack up your car, right? Say if the jack does tip over or something or something malfunction on on the jack. Well, it lands on this, okay? Gives you safety uh, for you and the car, really, because he would want their car falling on the ground, okay? <clears throat> uh, take some tools. I take some tools, okay. Take some duct tape. Don't don't forget the duct tape. Always take duct tape with you because you might, you know, get a little little small hole in your radiator hose. Maybe you need to patch it with duct tape to get you home. So always take some duct tape with you. Uh, yeah, and check your spare tire. Uh, and also check the date on the tire. Don't forget the date on tires, okay? That's something a lot of people forget, how old the tire is. Just because it has tread on the tire and it looks good, I bought the tire is 15 years old or 18 years old, and that rubber is falling apart, okay? So check the date on the tire, the tread and all that. The tires on your car, the date. Matter of fact, I got to get a couple for this vehicle because uh, it has two tires on it that are actually 10 years old. <laughs> okay, and that's definitely old. Uh, I've heard some people have tires on their cars that are actually 22 years old. <laughs> no joke. So it, you know, it's it's definitely uh, you, you got to check that stuff out. People forget. Same thing, checking your air. Make sure your tires are, you know, have the, the correct amount of air in them. They'll be driving around on low tires. All right. Uh, unfortunately, next month, yeah, it's going to be another bad month for me for, for financials because, unfortunately, I got some old tires that I'm going to have to replace. Um and that's not going to be fun because this month wasn't fun. You know, I had some car repairs this month that took quite a bit of money. And the new month coming up is going to be replacing some tires. And tires are not cheap. So it's going to be another bad month. But I don't want to be driving around on old tires. Uh, so I'll go down there and do that. Uh, I was planning to take a small trip anyhow. Uh, just up to Oklahoma City. It's not that really easy. Really, you can't even call it a trip. It's only about 
62, 65 miles away. Uh, for me, it's a little trip, okay. Um, I, I don't have a lot of money, so, you know, I'm not one of these families that uh, have a lot of money and pack up and head for Florida to Disneyland, okay. Not that, not that blessed. But anyway, th then we're... Some of the things I can think of to go over, um, and also, you know, if you do drive a lot of miles and you take long trips, what is that? They got them uh, emergency road kits, and I was thinking about getting one of them. I don't know if I can do it next month or not with the new tires because they're not that bad. I think you can get one for about thirty bucks, and they got you know they got some tools in there and some emergency. Um, road gear that you need and all that. I was thinking about getting that. I think they're 30 bucks on Amazon, emergency road kit. And that's something you, everybody should have in their car. But, yeah, check all the stuff out. Like I said, I always take some antifreeze with me. Take some extra water. Take some extra water with you, too. I always do that. Uh, go down, buy some bottled water. Always have it in your car. Even snacks, really. It's always smart to take snacks, stuff like that, uh, in case something happens on the road. That way you have water, you have some snacks. Uh, you know, you're you're prepared, okay? So see you later. That's it for today.